Mark Denham at Breakfast Podcast. Hello and welcome to episode 246 of the Atom Radio Best Bits of Breakfast Show podcast. And this is Mark Denham from The Breakfast Show. And here we are. Ho, ho, ho. Now, by the way, oh, hang on, hang on. I need to give that more effort. Ho, ho, ho. There we are. That's better. Uh, it's December. December 2nd it is today, the uh, Saturday when this releases. I know it's a podcast and you can listen whenever you want, but it is December now. And hopefully you've either got your tree up last night or you're doing it today and it's going to be a lush weekend. On the way in the podcast this week, a Christmas light turn on where you couldn't see the lights. Chocolate is good for you. Gen Z ruining something else. This time it's Christmas dinner. Biscuits. And how can you enjoy extreme cleaning? Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. With the Maidenhead on Saturday for their Christmas light switch on. It's amazing the difference, isn't it, when your council hasn't gone bankrupt. Uh, I can't. Can't say that much if I'm honest for the uh, the stage uh, performances and everything. Didn't think they were that great, but when they turned on the lights as well, that's the other thing. Uh, they had the, uh, the this is what I don't understand. They had the stage by the library. Okay, so the stage is opposite the library, which is all good. Other than the fact that the lights when they were turned on, well, they were on the high street. So when they did the ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. You didn't notice any difference because if you could see the stage, you couldn't see the lights, which is a bit curious, I think. However, yeah, it was all good. They have a they had a lush fireworks display as well, though. I don't know that we need fireworks with Christmas lights, but maybe they had to have fireworks because of the fact that whoever planned it put the stage up where you couldn't possibly see the lights. So ten nine eight seven six five four three two one, no difference. That's a little bit strange, really, isn't it? But there we are. Anyway, uh, well done to Maidenhead, though. It was an all right day and all that. No trouble that I noticed and everything. Everyone was in fine spirits, so well done to Maidenhead on that. This is Mark Denham. At breakfast. Atom Radio. Chocolate is good for your health. You see now all these times you've been told, no, no, don't, don't overdo the chocolate and that. Chocolate is good for your health. It can help fight against bacteria in the mouth and also stop dental decay. I don't know whether dentists agree with that or not, but that's what I'm seeing in front of me this morning. So there you are. I reckon for breakfast this morning, you should have a bar of chocolate. That's my top tip for you. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. Today we're talking about aliens. I want to know if one landed on Earth and wanted something from you, what service would you offer them? On air at atomradio.co.uk. I mean, mine is obvious. I'd offer them a musical education, as I am known for banging out the anthems of a morning. I would therefore offer them a musical education, you see, and I'd teach them all about the anthems, and that would be me. Done. There we are. Should they, of course, be real, I still am not convinced that they are. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Right. Uh, The overnight low last night into this morning was a low of four degrees. Right now, we've got five degrees, and it's still to get down to the overnight low. I would suggest that you wrap up warm if you are going out this morning. Maybe uh, going to go and get your morning paper. Do people still do that? Do you still go and get your morning paper? Or do you just look online now and think, stuff that, I don't need to go out? Uh, Maybe if you're going out to go and get your morning milk, do people still do that? I do remember earlier on this year, somebody knocked my door and asked me if I would like a milk delivery from the milkman. And I said, no, no, thank you. I'm all right. No. So, yeah, morning to you if you are a milkman this morning. What happens to you, eh, in the winter? Does the milk get frozen when you load it up onto your cart and you take it out? Do you still have a milk cart? Do you have a van now? I don't really suppose they have the old milk carts anymore, do they? Now I'm reminiscing, aren't I? You know, like old old Ernie. They call him Ernie, and he drove the fastest milk cart in the West. No, I don't think they do that anymore. Mind you, Ernie was a horse and cart, though, wasn't it? Then they had the old milk floats, didn't they? The electric things long, long before Elon Musk came along with his Tesla. Mark Denham at breakfast. This is Atom Radio. Let's find out the top five of chores that you put off as long as you can. And number five, paying the bills back in the day when you had to send a cheque. And number four, the washing up, leave it to the last minute when you've run out of knives, forks or plates. And number three, flipping the mattress very difficult to do when you live on your own and number two ironing just hang it up in the air and covered instead and hope the creatures will fall out and number one on this week's top five of household chores that you put off 
emptying the bin and squishing the rubbish down inside the bin instead. And only because I do that too. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Morning at 6.22. Welcome to Wednesday. It's Mark Denham on Atom Radio. What are you having for your Christmas dinner in now under a month? Well, Gen Z are killing off Christmas dinners because apparently they're going to have something more trendy than a Christmas dinner, like a spag bowl rather than the traditional turkey in the trimmings. I'm not really one for all the trimmings and that, but no, no, you'd have to wrestle the turkey away from me. This is Mark Tenham. At breakfast. At him radio. First, though, we get to your emails. And today, research done by the University of Sydney shows that those born in the 90s have the worst mental health than any born before them. Uh, and this is uh, scientific research which has been done. And not only that, across the 10 years of the study, those born in the 90s were the only group whose mental health did not improve over the 10 years of the study compared to others. Today, I want to know, what is it, in your opinion, that makes your generation the one that had it the toughest? On air at atomradio.co.uk is my email address this Wednesday morning, and we'll kick off with Gary. And Gary's got a point here. Gary says, today's kids can have their homework done for them by AI and even the generation before them just had to type into Google what they wanted to write about and it would give them the answers. We had to go to the library and use encyclopedias. And yes, do you know what? I was just sitting here thinking, I don't even remember now how you'd go about looking something up in an encyclopedia. It's been that long since I've done homework that way. But thank you, Gary. And morning, Michael. This is a problem that we all suffered. Well, if we had older sisters anyway. When you had dial-up internet and you couldn't get on the internet at all because your older sister was on the phone to her boyfriend. Yeah, that was a problem back in the day. Thank you. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. You're going bald. Scientists say injections of fat from your thighs could reverse the process. What? Nobody told me that. And Britain's favourite biscuit. What is it? A survey has been done. uh, And this is on Reddit. A poll on Reddit has found the definitive answer. Uh, or is looking to find the definitive answer, uh, and therefore you can vote. The choices are Hobnob, Bourbon, Custard Cream, Digestive, Garibaldi, Viennese, Nice, uh, Rich Tea, Malted Milk, Ginger Nut, Pink Wafer, Cadbury Finger, Viennese Well, Fox's Crunch Cream, Jaffa Cake, and Jammy Dodger. Surely the one that stands out there is Jaffa Cake, because in its very name it says Jaffa Cake not Jaffa Biscuit. But yes, I would probably vote for the Jaffa Cake, though, given it's in the list. So that would be my favourite biscuit. You can vote for that on Reddit. Off you go. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. I would put Jaffa Cake at number one, probably Ginger Cake at number two, uh, Nice at number three, Malted Milk at number four, and Rich Tea at number five. There you go. There's a top five, and it's not even Tuesday. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. 622, Mark Denham at breakfast on Atom Radio. Welcome to Friday. A couple got engaged at Glasgow Station. Very romantic, you say. Well, Alan Campbell got down on one knee at the station and proposed to his girlfriend, Angela, uh, Angela Harkas, and they, they, they well, yeah, she said yes, but they missed their train. Oh, no. Imagine that. Yeah, yeah, I'll just pop the question and then we'll hop on the train. Oh, no, we missed it, but at least she said yes. This is Mark Denham. At breakfast. Atom Radio. A lady has cleaned 10 houses so far. And this is a proper, proper deep clean and everything. She goes to people's messy homes and cleans them for free because she says that it helps with her mental health. Uh, And so far, uh, Ivana from uh, Shoreditch in London. Such a shame she doesn't live in in Slough. Anyway, Ivana from London so far decided to help her neighbour clean her messy home as a temporary distraction from her own struggles. She found it so satisfying transforming the untidy space into a livable abode and then started asking if anyone else needed any help, and they obviously said, yes, please. And as I say, it's such a shame she doesn't live in Slough. Today, I want to know, what thing that isn't really thought that popular do you find helpful for your own mental well-being? On air at atomradio.co.uk is my email address this morning for Friday morning for the thing that you find good for your mental well-being. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Do you know what? I'm, I'm torn on that because I hate housework genuinely can't stand doing housework but then i'd feel quite bad with a stranger just saying yeah i'll come do it with you i'd feel quite bad especially when she says i'll do it for free 
I mean, I'm struggling to understand how you can enjoy any form of cleaning, like light dusting. I don't even like. Uh, but no, extreme cleaning, and she loves it. I'm struggling with that, but there we are. Anyway, good luck to you, uh, and hopefully uh, you keep on going and you get to realise your dream. The lady's dream was to start a charity. I don't know what the charity was going to be about, but that was her dream anyway, to start a charity, perhaps. Uh, extreme cleaners on call for free. I don't know. Anyway, thank you as always for checking out the podcast. An episode, episode even, 246, wraps up there. Class dismissed, but not yet though, because don't forget you can listen uh, to the show Monday to Friday, 6 until 10, and you can find it on atomradio.co.uk, on the Radio Box app, on TuneIn, on your smart speaker. Just say play Atom Radio from TuneIn, and it will. And of course, thank you very much for checking out this podcast. One more thing to do before you go is to subscribe because then you'll get notified next time the podcast drops. Make sure you subscribe in your podcast app or indeed if you are listening on YouTube as well. Oh, and ho, ho, ho. Mark Denham. At Breakfast. Podcast.